welcome to the Martial Arts Lifestyle Podcast. And today I'm actually connecting on Zoom to the other side of the world for me. This is my first time actually talking to Israel. This is Tel Aviv, Israel. And a yes. martial artist I know through, or I'm meeting now for the first time through a physical therapist that I've worked on. And we're going to talk a little bit about martial arts and, and the particular physical therapy that this man does as well. But very interesting gentleman. He's got an amazing history, and I'm uh, very pleased to meet. This is uh, Moti Nativ. Is that how I say your last name? Yes. 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 Perfect. And sir, is there a title for you? Because you're you're a pretty high ranking uh, individual in the Bujin Khan Ninjutsu. Do you, do you have a title that you prefer that I call you? Or uh, uh, my title is uh, Dai Shihan. The... Dai Shihan. Dai Shihan Moti Nativ. But you can call me Moti. It's okay. It's the same. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Well, let's talk a little bit about the um, conference that you're about to do, because I know that was something uh, that kind of brought us together at this time. Uh, you were definitely yeah. on my list of people to talk about, talk to on this podcast at some point anyway. But, you know, I'm kind of glad that there's an event that helped spark this uh, to be sooner than later. So um, okay. what is this event and um, what's your part in it? This event is the, you know, the FGNA, the uh, uh, conference. It's the 30 guys uh, uh, guild of North America. And they have every year, it's very nice, they do a conference. Now, because of the situation and everything, it's, we do it on Zoom. And the uh, this and every year they have a, a title or a theme. This year the theme is breathing. So every one of the practitioners that will present in the FGNA conference will give uh, some directions, ideas uh, about the breathing. Myself. I will teach, uh, uh, will talk about uh, what I call the tandem breathing, you know, the breathing to the lower stomach, to the hara. Oh, okay. Okay, and uh, this kind of breathing, uh, usually people do, for instance, when they do meditation, when they do uh, uh, some sitting uh, or positions or whatever and they will breathe and but uh, you as a martial artist also you know that sometimes we need to do our breathing while we act while we perform some techniques some uh, and uh, and uh, Moshe Pernika is when he was a, uh, when he was a judoka Koizumi, we, we remind that Koizumi asked him to talk about uh, uh, this uh, chi and so on uh, mm -hmm. that, that uh, people uh, talk a lot about uh, the chi and uh, Moshe said, okay, look, I can talk about it, but actually for me everyone has this uh, chi, this way of feeling uh, this point and the lower stomach and so on but it, for me everything is through full organization of the body and through movement mm -hmm. and uh, that's what I want to try at least to bring people to the feeling of being able to use the breathing to use the breathing all the way down to your lower stomach while you move. And uh, as a martial artist, we meet it many times, even when we cut with the sword, we, we want to be able to bring the breathing in a way that we are uh, more, uh, let's say, grounded. Mm -hmm. We have more stability. Uh, more balance and uh, it's meaning that, that what it means that uh, I will try I'm saying I'll try but uh, I will do will do some things that will help uh, will give the uh, 
people that would come to the presentation, the, the opportunity to listen to their breathing as they as they move, as they act, as they even act, act uh, freely and fast. Yeah. For instance, you know about the ki high. You know, mm -hmm. everybody knows. Oh, you know. Oh. Now the ki high is not from here. It's from your lower stomach. So you have to mm -hmm. do it. It doesn't have to be loud ki high, but you have to do the breathing. So it's it will take a few hours uh, to learn and i will i will do my presentation uh, in a dojo a dojo not here in tel aviv in the north in uh, on carmel mountain a dojo of, of one, one of my students and uh, i will hope and i will will be in a dojo and uh, we'll do atm yeah, everybody will, will do ATM and also will translate the learning from the ATM to the movement and we'll do some movement of defending, attacking, not, again, very slow, very uh, uh, gentle. Yeah. This is very the cool. So yeah. what, um, what would you say the benefits that people could uh, we'll see from this. Uh, the you. benefits, again, first of all, the benefit is people will learn. What do you mean learn? Learn another way to use their body. What, what does it mean? You see, when we learn, there's, let's say, I will say it very roughly. I mean, we learn new movements and we learn old movements you see and uh, i again because everybody is breathing and, and so and so so we like to learn how to listen to the breathing and how to listen to the breathing in a way that we can time we can use the we coordinate the breathing with the movement okay and in a good timing, so we'll have, that's what people will benefit. They will benefit that we'll, they will be able to listen uh, more or better to their breathing. Now, I will try to concentrate maybe uh, one or two ways of breathing, but uh, uh, if you know one thing, you know many, okay? <laughs> Yeah, you see, when you laugh, I know that you understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So this this is it. Uh, if if you learn one thing, you know many. So this is the idea. Uh, such breathing, I will again, I will connect uh, the Felding Feldenkrais method through an ATM lesson, and uh, then we'll do the movements that, that will give some ideas. Through, let's say, for me because I'm a martial artist. Through the martial artist, if I if I was a, a, a playing on piano, I maybe I would I would have used more uh, of uh, such thing. Now we we'll try to move. We like to feel the power that we get through the breathing. Through the breathing, we get power, and like I said, it's about. Uh, uh, something that people can take and from time to time they will have opportunity to listen again and again and uh, it will give uh, uh, them the uh, again the opportunity to like I said before sometimes we use our body but we don't listen to it now we want to listen to it okay right and now we listen to the breathing Breathing is a thing that we have all the time with us. Every live person is breathing. So we would like to use the breathing that we have with us through all the day. Absolutely. It sounds like a wonderful <laughs> lesson. So is uh, this something that you have to be a Feldenkrais practitioner, like a licensed person to belong to do, or is this open to the general public? 
it's open to the general public i hope yeah and uh, <laughs> I, i'm sure no i'm sure I yeah think i think so that... darcy sent me the the uh information so i'll, I'll definitely uh, i'll put it because um when we put these things out you know there's a whole uh description section that i can put links and things in ah. so I'll, i'll put i'll put it in there okay so uh and um, yeah so it's it will be open also i also i hope that for my uh, presentation i will bring uh, one of two of my students they don't know what's going to happen there they they will be surprised like anyone else but <laughs> uh, it will i will have the uh, bodies uh, next to me to use uh, and uh, so it's it's open for everyone you don't need any uh, martial art experience you just need To be a normal person with an open mind <laughs> and and it's easy it's easy job because everybody is breathing you see right so exactly yeah, so it's a job for me everybody exactly. would come to breathe with me well okay? I can say you know to our audience too you know uh, I know if you've not experienced this before really it's it's nothing to be apprehensive about or afraid of it's actually you Um, yeah and it's always been hard for me to describe it other than just saying look it's uh, any Feldman price uh, method that you do whether it be an ATM or, or the uh, what did you call the, the I keep forgetting the name of the method where you actually put functional, your hands on the inter- fu- functional, functional inter- intervention integration yeah integration yeah. right yeah so none of that is it's not spooky it's not um, and it's not anything to really be apprehensive about it's actually really fascinating when, when you do it uh, in fact I have to say my first session I fell asleep in because I thought yeah. uh, her name was Pat Pat was just yeah. I thought she was checking muscle reflexes on me and so uh-huh. I'm like okay so I just laid and it was so relaxing that I went you out see? because yeah. I know she gave me an hour but it seemed like it was about 10 minutes and she said okay we're done I said oh we are okay and she said you <laughs> get up and tell me how that feels and I was like wow okay this is way different you know <laughs> the way I'm moving so you know I was yeah. sold from the first the first uh, the first set and then what was interesting was having you know two three regular people uh, mainly Darcy and Edward you working on me and it was just there was a lot of you um, exploration you know and and learning so it's you know for people that have not done this I really kind of I advise you know check this thing out especially <laughs> as you're you know if you're a martial artist who's primarily the audience of, of this particular show and as we're getting older which most of them who are listening to the show are <laughs> you know uh, we just had an instructor camp and our average age at that camp was 53. So, uh, you know, that's, it's a group that's, that is getting a, a little older, but we've got, you know, plenty of young people coming in. And if you're younger, this is great stuff to get involved in now. It'll make your quality of life, I think, really good as you go, uh, as, you, as you age and you continue in martial arts. Yeah. And for those of us who are, you know, getting a little older, this will help you continue to do the thing that you're really loving to do. And again, yeah, yeah. it's not a difficult thing. Uh, on you physically at all it's it's actually it's fascinating because it really is kind of working your mind a lot about as you said you know and I, I think you said it really well about listening to yourself listening to your body yeah yeah, so, yeah. Um, you know I, I hope we can get some uh, get a good turnout for you here yeah yeah I think it will be good uh, introduction also to the particular method because I talk about some principles and And uh, it will be good feeling uh, for anyone about uh, stability and balance and the power that everyone, the strength that everybody has in his body because we'll, we'll move a little bit. Yeah. Exactly. Very good. Thank well, you. thank you so much. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank okay. you for your time. Okay. All right. Take Bye-bye. care. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye.